Halloween is a fun time of year. Do you sometimes feel like you want to add a little something extra to your household Halloween decoration? Well, you might want to think about giant spiders and their webbing. Well, the spider is made out of wood, but I'm here to show you how to make the web. And don't count on any help from this guy. All he does is hang around. The web will be made out of yarn. In this case, I'm going to use black. You'll want to install metal eye hooks in the trim above the garage door, as well as along the eave and everywhere else you want to route your web. I just leave my hooks in year-round. You're going to use the hooks as your tie-off points for your yarn. So now it's time to think like a spider. First we're going to lay down all the straight lines that provide support for the webbing. This job is actually quite a bit easier if you remove your giant spider before you start putting your web up. Oh well, live and learn. Once all the support lines are completed, you can go back and start installing the inside webbing. Start by tying the line off. Move up to the next support line and do a couple wraps around it. And then go to the next line, a couple wraps around it. And continue working your way up. And there you have it, one completed spider web. Now you can use white yarn, but in my experience it doesn't look nearly as good as the black yarn. Oh, and here's a bonus. Remember those hooks you installed? Well, run some fishing line between them. Can't see the fishing line? Well, here's its shadow. And because you can't see it, you can leave the fishing line up year round. So you can make cardboard cutouts, then staple them onto the fishing line for other holidays. This will give the appearance that the star is just fluttering out in front of the house. You can cover your house with cardboard bats during Halloween. Large Christmas tree bulbs during Christmas. And don't forget to put your chickens up to celebrate when the fair's in town.